Here we go, here we go for the women of the working class. <laughs> this is Dot, matriarch of what became a formidable local women's support group. So Dot, that's the, that's the corned beef pasty that, that you produced en masse. That was a typical meal, chips, peas and corned beef pasty. But and Dot, you was a great leader for us, mind I gotta oh, say it. Yeah. Don't know my head's big enough. No, you was brilliant. Don't. She was fantastic. Together they worked shifts. Miners' wives like Angela and Donna, feeding those on strike, raising money, joining protests. Oh, that's Donna. Was it hard? Was it a hard year? Yes, but it was a good year as well. I mean, I hadn't long had my baby when that strike started, my second child. Um, he was three weeks old. Um, but still, we still went knocking doors in all weathers with yeah. Jackie, didn't I? Well, that's you, Donna. Knocking on doors, seeking donations of food, clothes, welfare without the state. What did it achieve? Satisfaction for us. Well, despite the results, I think that we did a good job as women, and I think we had reason to be proud of ourselves, and the whole thing gave us a lot more confidence in ourselves. Women, you are strong. You Ultimately, are though, this was a story across the British coalfields of a long, exhausting, and often toxic retreat. And in Newbridge, within just months of the strike ending, both of the town's collieries were closed down. Fantastic. Thank you. Going back, it's an incredible experience. And the nice thing about the project now, I can speak to them, I can get to know them. I think they won, to be honest, because they, they showed pride. They um, held their heads up high. So I think, you know, I was privileged to witness that. Others see it as a strike as pointless as it was protracted. However it's viewed, 30 years on from that tumultuous last stand, this remains a land stripped of the industry which once shaped it and still dealing with the legacy of that loss. Here we go, here we go, for the women of the working class. Some breaking news now. For some time, this programme has been investigating the government's own job site, Universal Job Match. And last month, we revealed that as many as one in 50 of the jobs were potentially fake. Tonight, the Department of Work and Pensions has issued a statement on the...